Hey guys, it's Craig here, aka the NWF. Welcome back to the channel. Today, the comment section strikes again. I asked for custom suggestions, you delivered. And there was one idea that was shared again and again and again. With his hair recently going blondish again, there's definitely some fun to be had here. So it's time for an updated Seth frickin' Rollins. I was back and forth on what attire I should make and just couldn't decide. So I turned the vote and power over to my friend Luca and he subsequently decided to give me a nervous breakdown with this one. The straight lines had my head in a spin, but I was determined not to back down from the challenge. Rollins has sported this colourful gear recently on Monday Night Raw, most notably in a win against Bobby Lashley that saw him become a two times United States Champion. I kicked things off by jumping online and picking up an Elite 93 Seth Rollins from Amazon UK. Whilst waiting for that to be delivered, I started my research gathering as many reference images and screenshots as I could possibly find. I turned to my faithful companion Photoshop and created a set of decals because I thought this would be the best way to tackle this problem. The Elite 93 arrived and I got straight to work on the head scan. I removed the hair and sanded down the head slightly before starting in with green stuff to sculpt the new look. I did half of the head first to make sure I was on the right track before going in and finishing the job. Whilst I was working on the scan, images of the Elite 99 figure dropped online and I felt an immediate wave of relief that I wasn't wasting my time working on that attire. I started laying down some decals to map out the line work and you'd be excused for thinking at this stage there's no way it's going to come together. Look at the state of that. At this point, I actually noticed that Rollins has worn his kick pad designs on either foot. I decided to go with the Austin Theory failed cashing look as he actually had the blonde hair in this one so it felt more appropriate. I knew at this point that I'd need to start painting. I made myself a wet palette using a takeaway container and took the tactic of painting one colour at a time to help organise things and keep me focused. After four days of this, five if you include the tidy up with the black paint, we got the finished result. Considering how daunted I was to take this one on, I'm immensely proud with the finished custom. The base likeness of the head scan from Mattel is so good, and the repaint has really highlighted its quality. I've become such a fan of sculpting long hair, and I love how this looks. I've tried to replicate the line work on the tights as faithfully as possible, and I'm proud of both the line work and the vibrancy of the designs. This wasn't as straightforward a project as I assumed it would be when I took the challenge on, but the outcome has made it all worthwhile. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the original Elite 93 that really showcases the work that's gone into this one. Be sure to let me know what you think of this modified head scan and custom figure. Are there any customs or fix ups that you'd like to see me do? Let me know in the comments below and you might just see it in another video. If you'd like to see what I did with another comment suggestion, click the video link here. Until next time, stay safe, see ya.